Each of the values you see on the screen is functioning as a data visualization of the pollution levels in Sydney, each color corresponding to a particular issue in our city, water pollution, air pollution, and general landfill. When you move close, these invaders will start to chase you, follow you movements around the screen trying to scare you off. But don't worry, they aren't as tough as they seem. You can scare them off with any sudden movements. As they are allowed to prosper in Sydney, the invaders begin to fire down. The effects of their resistance become apparent with the damage showing on the Sydney skyline. Left too long, and Sydney will be no more. However, we have not left the citizens defenceless. By placing recycling in one of our invader recycling bins, you can destroy one of the invaders attacking our city. The pollution saved by reusing materials rather than harvesting them again takes one of these pesky invaders from the installation, with the ultimate goal to rid Sydney of them all. These giant 3D invaders will not just be a bin, we want them to be rad enough to also function as a street art piece during the installation. The outside of the building we have also utilised for the installation, using as a giant scoreboard. The external lights turning on and off to show the progress of the installation so citizens of Sydney can see how they are faring and also how long they have left to defeat the invading hordes. As these lights are quite visible from many parts of the city, they can also work to attract people to the artwork. Yeah, we should use the, the one of uh, Rocky too when he's training on the, in the mountains yeah. with the awesome. snow. Yeah. Happy pose, guys. Good work. Hey, stop floating with your van, George. The entry point is here through the mouth. And then we have just a thin, flexible piece of paper. And then there's sort of a giant rubber ball is in there, so that when, so they have to forcibly push that, that gate open. Done. Yeah, almost there. Can you make it good, Mikey? Can you make it look good? The space inverse is coming out now. What do you have to do now? Oh, you have to just oh, when you open the lid. Okay. What happens? So, so yeah, so just when you open the lid, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm recycling. Okay. Is it like saving just, the environment? <laughs> Save the planet.
this installation for me in this space for me I'm sorry as an opportunity to uh, it, it engage us by and, and sort of reward positive uh, behaviors that are going on within that environment so I didn't want to have any barriers to engagement so I wanted to use a, a device that required no uh, no educating it was get in there and do it and th this interaction that they do would uh, would reward them in a way that has a positive effect and these tiny little uh, interactions would accumulate and build up to be a, a greater impact on society. So that, that was the aim for, for me personally with the, you know, when I looked at this space in the Grid Gallery. My, my interpretation of the role of urban space is that it needs to be, uh, uh, needs work as a creator of awareness and engagement, not only about uh, the screen, because as a passes by, you're not expecting an interaction. It's, it's not the, the age of minority report yet. So I and we felt that this concept had to also be a bridge between the real and the virtual. The big idea behind uh, this installation is uh, being able to come with means for people to uh, be, be closer to their virtual self into it inside a real uh, environment. So for me, the main goal into this installation is uh, providing the people with the means to socialize from different ways using the, the screen and the interaction devices as, as a means.